everyone. Today, for my little series that I'm doing, I had two things I wanted to talk about. One, part one, is going to be the title of the video, Satisfaction is the Death of Desire. Part two is how easy it is. So, part one, uh, Satisfaction is the Death of Desire. It's the title of an album that I really enjoy. Um, the saying really kind of hit to me. What it says to me is, is if you're satisfied with how you are, if you're satisfied with how things are, if you're satisfied kind of just dealing with what it is, it's the death of your desire to make things better. Things could probably always be better um, in any situation. Uh, you just have to strive and have that desire to make them better. So if you are satisfied with your situation, whether it be if you are in a good place or you're not in a good place and you've kind of stopped trying to correct that situation or make it better in general, that satisfaction is killing your desire. So what I would say is never be satisfied. To a degree, you can be satisfied and be happy, but never stop. Keep the desire, keep the striving for excellence, keep uh, you know dr your driven attitude. Always make the situation better. You can keep pressing on. I believe in you. You can do it. Um, I believe that almost every human on this planet has the mental strength and ability, if they put their mind to it, to make their situations better. So don't let satisfaction kill your desire to tackle the day, get stuff done, and when you go to bed at night, realize you did the best you could for the day. Part two, how easy it is. There was another quote that I heard from someone that I listened to, another podcaster, and he had said that it is easy to do things when you just say you're gonna do them. It's an A or B situation. A, you're either gonna do it, and if it's hard, you're gonna have to suffer through it, or B, you choose not to do it, and it's that easy. You just do it. Some of that stuff might have steps, might have processes. You're choosing to do it, but then you have to start the process, which is still doing it. You may not have the end result right away, but at least you made up that effort to say, I'm going to do this. I chose A instead of B. Um, now, you don't always have to choose A. I'm sure there's instances that B would be a little more appropriate for the situation. But generally, choose the A. It's as simple as I'm going to do this and you just do it. For example, with my job, I have to be physically fit. Um, I kind of let that slide a little bit and my score wasn't as, as well as I wanted it to on my test. So I made the decision. I'm going to start running three times a week. There are days when I do not feel like running at all. On my way home, I'm like, eh, I just won't run. But, uh, you know, I make that A decision that I'm going to do it, so I just go out there and do it. It's as much, you know, it's, it's easy if you just kind of detach yourself from that emotion, from the feeling of I don't want to, detach yourself, kind of float outside of it, and look at yourself and say, you kind of have to. And then you just do it. And there's so much productivity you can get done if you keep that mentality state. Just do it. Um, like I said, I'm not, I'm not perfect about it. Um, I've made my mistakes with it too. Uh, obviously, I'm having to <laughs> do running to get myself back in a better shape. But uh, it's it's all about trying to push that mentality in your head of it's easy. Just do it. Um, if it feels difficult, just you know, detach yourself disembody yourself from that situation look from the outside in and say hey look you just got to do it and then you just move go through the motions and do it uh, it's something I've been working on for the past couple months and uh, it's been working out pretty well and uh, I think I'm building more of a strong mind and uh, willpower from just pushing through and saying all right I'm choosing a I'm doing it so uh, those are the two things I wanted to talk about today um, I would say try and use these in your life and uh, any questions leave a comment and uh, see you later.